So, iPadOS 26 is here, but not every iPad gets the same features. If you're on iPad 8th Gen, you'll want to see this before updating. In this video, it will show the features of what iPadOS 26 delivers on the 8th generation iPad after the update has been made. First, with the spatial scene or 3D wallpaper, at first I thought that the clock couldn't be resize, but after some exploration, you need to remove the widgets beside to it and you can now resize the clock. But with the 3D effect, there is no option for that on iPad 8th Gen. Next, the camera's interface. From the previous version, the icon has changed to iPadOS 26 and the controls icons had been modified too. The liquid glass effect could be seen by scrolling into it. Next, the liquid glass feature which can be seen all thorough the interface of the iPad, from the sliding bar notification, the control center, and the icons which can be customized according to your preferences dark, tinted, clear, and you can just turn it back to default if you want. Next is the windowing system and the menu bars. As a person who do taking notes, this feature is a peak and convenient for me, as I can now use multiple apps in one screen and you can move, resize them or how do you want to arrange them according to your liking on how you'll be productive using this, and you can use the buttons to minimize, close and expand them to full screen. You can also use the menu bar to maximize its options of that particular app. As you close the window, you can slide it to the side or just scroll into mid part to separate the windowed apps displayed. Here's the keyboard after the update. It's kinda look fresh but family though. The interface of the gallery was a great change for me as I am looking to a new model of my iPad and it looks like higher version from it. After the update, I struggle with the slight delay or the lagging or glitching of the iPad, particularly in changing the wallpaper. Using a mouse cursor, it has smooth functions from it and I can clearly says that it keeps up with the Mac devices and can transform your iPad into a PC or laptop but with the use of 8th gen, it will cause to heat up the device and get lag when long term use. To sum it up, the iPad 8th gen does get the most of the new design changes and basic apps but it misses out on the advanced AI and pro-level multitasking features that make iPadOS 26 really shine. For me, the new update was functional and still worth it for the design refresh and core tools. But if you are on iPad 8th Gen and want the full iPadOS 26 experience, it might be the time to upgrade to a newer model.